Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisim Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This is lab number three, Priority Encoder. The purpose of this lab is to continue to become familiar with using Logisim Evolution. In this lab, you'll create a priority encoder. This is a device designed to prioritize several inputs. So if I activate input four, and then activate any of the lower priority inputs, the output remains at four. However, if I next activate input seven, then that takes priority. Now I'll switch to the starter circuit for this lab, which contains a main circuit and one sub-circuit named encoder. Let's get started in the sub-circuit. This particular sub-circuit requires an awful lot of AND gates, a few OR gates, and a lot of wiring. The first thing I want to do, I think, is grab all of these outputs and scoot them over to get them out of the way. Next, I need to place some AND gates. So I'll grab this first AND gate, drag it in, and drop it. Oh, I want to make this a narrow gate. And it needs to have five inputs. So I'll set up five inputs, and inputs two, three, and four need to be negated. Now for the time being, just follow the instructions in the manual. It's not going to make sense why this AND gate needed five inputs, why three of them had to be negated. However, once the circuit is complete, you can play around with it and figure out what each of these AND gates is doing. The last thing I want to do is label this AND gate so that later I can refer to it, and I'm going to label it U1. Now in electronic schematic diagrams, typically gates are labeled with a, a letter U and then a number. They start the numbering at the top left corner and go uh, across and down. Next I want to place another AND gate. And again, I want this to be a narrow AND gate. This AND gate needs to have four inputs and inputs two and three need to be negated. Now at this point, I'm going to pause my uh, recorder and I will place the rest of these AND gates on the screen. And that way you don't have to just sit and listen while I'm doing nothing but placing AND gates. Oh, let me go ahead and label this one. U2. At this point I've placed all of the AND gates and all of the OR gates necessary for the circuit. Now I did readjust the screen a little bit because this circuit is so long it wouldn't all fit in my recorder, so I did readjust the screen just slightly. After we get all of the gates in there, we need to place nine inputs. Now they're already on the circuit. So all I need to do is just align those. And I see that input number nine needs to go in aligned up right with the bottom of U16. Input A goes in the top input port of U16. Input seven is going to go into the top input of U12. Input 6 goes into the top input of U11. Input 5 goes into the top of U10. There we go. Input 4 goes into the top of U9. Input 3 goes in on the third leg of U6. So let me put it down there. And again, these can be moved around as necessary as the circuit develops. Input 2 goes in the top of U5, and there that is. I think I need to go up one more spot. And input 1 goes in the very top of U1. And that should get all of our inputs lined up. Again, I can move those around a little bit if necessary. Next, we come to the wiring. Now, I will give you a tip, as I've mentioned on the on uh, lab number two. It helps, since I know I've got nine inputs, I'm going to need nine runs of wire 
uh, vertical wire going up and down this circuit. So if I take input one and make it the very first run of wire and input to the second run of wire and so forth, the entire circuit becomes a lot easier to wire. Now for this particular circuit, it mu it's easier to wire from the bottom up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this OR gate, come across, and this one's going all the way up to U1 and it goes into the bottom input of U1. Now it's red because there's nothing connected to the input of this OR gate. Oh, well, let's go ahead and fix that. We'll just connect a couple of things here. So now all I need to do is to go down through this particular run of wire. Needs to be connected to the bottom uh, input for every AND gate on this circuit. So I can do this this, 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 and so forth. Again, I'm going to pause my video. I'm going to run all of these wires and then we'll start again. Okay, so now our wiring is all done. I will point out that I accidentally put the wrong gate in down here for U. Uh, what was the number on this particular gate? U16. This should have been a NOR gate instead of an OR gate. So as I put in my wires, I went ahead and swapped that out. By now, I trust you've realized that this particular circuit is really tough to wire because it's easy to get all of those wires confused. Now, if we go back, though, to our main circuit, we can drop in the encoder. And if I click on any of the inputs, it will, in fact, prioritize the output. That's about it for this lab. Good luck with it. Again, if you get frustrated, stop, ask for help, and I'll be glad to help you. I'll be seeing you online.